DIT friends. You know what's funny is I was just sitting here thinking, why did I call this DIT? Director in training. I guess you're training to become a director, so it makes sense, but I don't love that name. I've heard all kinds of names for this program, but whatever. I'm going to keep it DIT. So just a thought that crossed my mind as I hit record. So welcome to week five. Five, guys, this is only a 10 week course. You are on week five. Yay! So this week you are going to read three chapters. It's because they're short and they kind of go together. So the three chapters are. Chapter 9, create a realistic roadmap. Chapter 10 is build belief. How appropriate. We've talked a lot about belief lately. And chapter 11 is be a strategic mentor. So, of course, I don't ever, I'm never going to read these chapters to you. Look at that. Oh, I just love this book so much. This is the best book. Um, so I'm never going to read these to you, so you need to read these with a fine tooth comb and get lots of ideas. But I want to touch on some important things to me. So creating... Um, a realistic roadmap, chapter nine. Mary actually talks about a personal story for her, which is really cool. And in, I was at, um, I've heard her speak many times and she's just phenomenal. But one thing, one statistic that she shared that I thought was pretty crazy is that 50% of people quit after three months. So for everybody that joins your team, 50% of them are going to quit after three months statistically. And then others aren't going to make it. I heard a statistic once that of every 10 people you sponsor, one to two will stay long term, which is pretty cool that they'll stay long term. But that means you can't sponsor five people a year, guys. You have to sponsor more. You have to keep talking to people about joining your teams, okay? All right, so um, what else do we talk about? So what's important? When somebody joins your team, what are the two most number one important things that they have to do? So that's part of the problem sometimes is I think that we overwhelm our people a little bit. So we don't want to overwhelm them. So the two most important things in my humble opinion are booking parties and earning the Shooting Star Award. So those are the two things that you really want them to do. Those are the only things that they care about in the beginning. They don't care about the compensation plan. They don't care about anything but how to book parties. So you got to help them book parties. That is your number one goal. Um, okay, so that's chapter nine. Chapter 10 is all about building belief. Guys, you have to build belief in our company. You have to help them see why Sensi is better than any other company, not why you're better, why Sensi is better. You also have to help them believe why our products are the best. So if somebody's questioning Walmart brand wax and warmers, then you need to have a serious conversation with them about, you know what, honestly, my customers, this is the truth too, my customers don't even like, they would never stop and buy Walmart wax because you can't even compare the two because I've built belief in our product and I, you know, I never bash anybody else's product, but my customers know that ours is the best I have the best customer service, I am the most giving, and so they want to support my family business. So building belief, super important, chapter 10, in our, in our products and in our company are the two most important things, especially when they're joining. Chapter 11 is about being a strategic mentor. People don't need more training. They need more real life experiences. So this is another thing. Um, and I've toyed with this. I used to do more training calls and this and that and the other thing. And the truth is that sometimes we can be overtrained. okay? So just do it. The best thing you can do for your new team members is go to a party with them if that's possible. I mean, if you live in Maine and they live in Utah, then that's not going to happen most likely. But be there with them, you know, be just a, a, a Facebook message away or whatever, whatever works for you. Just really try to be there for them. Um, check in with them. Tell them to check in with you. I try to make, I'm a busy person. You guys know that. I try not to let people think that I'm too busy for them. I don't want that. I mean, I don't want people to think I'm too busy for them because I'm definitely not. I try to have a 24 hour rule. I try to get back to people within 24 hours. Um, if I have like super rock stars, I try to get back to them as, su as soon as possible. Like I sometimes will, dr I'll be at a hockey game and I'll open a message because this girl's on fire and, and I, you know, if I see it, because half the hockey rinks, we don't even have service. But anyway, this that was a bad example, but I'll open it and I will share with them. But I also, my family time is precious. My family time is important. I don't want to be on my phone during dinner, of course, which is hard, isn't it? Isn't it hard not to have your phone with you at all times? Um, so anyway. Learning to work more with your top performers, huge. So that's really all I have to share about those three chapters because they're so full of great information. 
read them, read it three times, read it five times, read it 10 times, know these three chapters. Okay, so now for your assignments. Okay, so besides reading chapters nine, 10, and 11, we're gonna put those things that we just talked about into action. So what you're going to do is you are going to find a top performing team member. Now, if you only have one team member, then she's gotta be your top performing team member, but I want you to go out of your way to help her or him. So if you live close by, I want you to say, I wanna to come to a home party with you. I wanna be there to cheer you on. I'm not, I'm not gonna be there to critique you. I'm just there to help you. I wanna help you book parties. I wanna help you um, in the party. I wanna help people. I wanna build excitement, build belief. I just wanna be there for you. So if that's an option, if you have a team member that lives close to you, I want you to do that. You're gonna reach out to them today and offer your help and say, when's your next home party? And if they don't have one, say, let's book one. Let's do it right now. Let's do a booking blitz together. Have you ever done a booking blitz? Booking blitzes are fun. I should add that to your assignment, doing a booking blitz with your team. Hmm, maybe I will. Let's see how many things I give you at this point. Okay, so face the number two, your next, um, you know what? I'm not even gonna give you assignment number two. Instead, you're gonna do a booking blitz with your team. And there's actually a, um, I just created a little document that tracks points. So I'll post that little document. It's not anything fancy by any means, but I'll post it. I don't know what I did with it. I had it here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. So basically it just gives you some points for every party that you book. And I created it last night. What the heck did I do with it? Oh, it's not in this folder. That's why. Um, so, and then you can give the prize to the winner. Give them like a set of transition testers, which is 10 bucks or something, you know, something like that, that will work. Where is my notebook? Okay, booking blitz. So you get everybody to come to your, of course, where the heck is it? To come to your, um, go like create, you can create an event, you can create, oh my gosh, where is my booking blitz? You can create an event, like I said, you can create, just do a private message if you just have a few people on your team. You can do all kinds of things. Oh well, I can't find it. So um, it's in one of these piles somewhere. I've got so much going on here. Oh, you know what? I know where it might be. Um, It's not. Unless it's in this part. Oh, I found it! Okay, here it is. Yay, okay. So here's the ugly document that I created. It just says booking blitz, and I changed the, uh, the points. So for every phone call your team member makes to a person, they get four points. For every text they send, they get two points. And for every private message on Facebook they send, they get one point. And then, so they keep track, they write down the names and what they did. So they, if they make a phone call, they get four points per person that they call because obviously that's the best way to book a party. And then the second best, in my opinion, is to send a text message. So they're going to get two points. And then for every Facebook private message they send, they're going to get one point. So they keep track of their points. And then at the bottom, for every person that says yes, they get five points. So they write down a five, then they write down the name of the hostess and they write down the type of party that they booked with that hostess. So do this for like 45 minutes, like start at 8 p.m., go till 8.45 sharp and, um, and, and see who the winner is. So it's really fun. So do that and I'm gonna post that document on our page. So that's for a booking blitz. That is your assignment number two. Okay, this assignment number three is you're going to make a welcome to my team video. Just a super short, hey, my name's Jen Audet. I am your Sensi Superstar Director and I just wanted to welcome you to the best team ever. I am here for you. I just want you to know that um, it, your sponsor's there for you. I'm here for you. You have so much support. I want you to join our Facebook page. So we have like, our Superstar Director has a page and our, um, so there is so much support out there for you. We're super excited. I also wanted to tell you that the two most important things for you to do, you don't need to learn the compensation plan, you don't need to memorize the catalog, you don't need to do any of that, but what you do need to do is you need to book as many parties as possible. I challenge you to book 10 parties. Guys, do it, do it. Book 10 parties, I promise you. It will make your business the snowball effect. You'll start little and your, your business is just gonna grow rapidly. I'm super excited for you. The second thing I want you to know is there's an award, a fast start award, that's called the Shooting Star Award. It's amazing. You need to sell 500 
PRV and what that means. That translates to dollars in the United States for most of our product. So $500 worth of product in your first 15 days. And day one is the day you hit the join button. So it's pretty quick, but you can do this. Lots of people earn this award. And then there are more awards coming. But those are the two things I want to focus, you, I want you to focus on. I want you to know I'm here for you. And I'm so excited that you've chosen our team. All right, have a great day. That was an example of a super fun, fast welcome video. So you're going to create one. And now every single time somebody joins your team, they're going to get that welcome video from you. Okay. So that is your third assignment. Um, your fourth assignment is, oh yeah, is you're going to make a little product video building belief in our products. And these are the products that I want you to highlight. I want you to highlight our laundry material, our laundry products, our bath bombs, our and so bath bombs and the other stuff, the uh, lotions and whatnot, our cleaning products and our Scentsy Go. So you can start this this video off with, and you guys, you can use your phones to make a video, you can use your computers to make a video, whatever works for you. But you're going to start this video off by saying. I know you love our wax and warmers because there's nothing out there that can top our wax and warmers. There's competition, they've tried, and we're so lucky that you can't even touch what we have going. But did you know that we have other products that are way more amazing than anything out there? And so I wanted to share them with you. The first product I want to share with you is our laundry line. I don't know if you even knew that Sensi has laundry products, but let me tell you. One example is I have two hockey players and they stink. Their equipment stinks. I don't know if you have any athletes, but I'm pretty sure that hockey equipment is the grossest stuff out there. Um, we could grow things in Petri dishes by taking a little, well, little, little, it's so gross. So anyway, um, I white tea cactus washer whisk kills hockey smell. It's the strangest thing. If you know any hockey players, so it, it works. You just, I do a soak cycle with two scoops of white tea cactus soak it and then I wash it with two scoops and that's how bad this stuff is takes four scoops and because this stuff works phenomenally anyway so blah 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 so that would be my video I would talk about my laundry detergent and I probably would go on too long like I just did which be people would be like okay stop so be careful with that keep it exciting but keep it quick you might even want to um, pan down and show your lineup of products you're going to talk about but real quick I might even just kind of touch on say I'm going to talk to you about our laundry products which are unbelievable you will never use Tide again once you've tried ours I'm going to talk to you about our bath bombs okay I know you can buy a bath bomb at the dollar store for a dollar but do you really want to soak your parts in something that came from the dollar store or do you want to soak your parts in something that you know is high quality so we'll talk about our bath products we'll also talk about our cleaning products okay never thought that it would be fun to clean my house because it smells so good. So we're going to talk about that. And the fourth thing we're going to talk about is the new Scentsy Go. Everybody's been asking for a battery operated scent delivery system. And guess what? It's here. I'm going to show you that too. So that would be another way to start your video. So there you go. I think that's all I want you to do this week, people. That's a lot. Where's my list? Um, okay. That's it. So you got it, guys. This is going to be a fantastic week. Get all of those assignments done. Remember, you need a minimum of a 1,000 PRV, and you need a recruit to continue in this class. So don't get, don't fall behind. Keep up with the assignments. Check in. Make sure your mentor or your team captain knows that you're all caught up. Give us the results that you get, anything from this video, in the comment section on this post. All right, again, love you guys. Can't wait for you to be directors and go on the director leadership retreat with us every single year, which is amazing. All right, I'll see you soon.